Hi everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I uh, am building the cabinet for up above the sink and I was gonna try to like save on some wood and make it lightweight and not go with all four legs but instead no I decided it's gonna be more solid and stable if I just make a one-piece drop-in unit. Uh, trying to rig it up and screw it to OSB and nah, haphazardly forget it. I'm just going to build it. I'm thinking about trying to make it lighter and I don't need to. This is this is really actually really dry wood. Really light stuff. I need to third hand. There we go. First piece is always the toughest when building a cabinet, at least in my opinion. In my experience. But I'm not a professional, so can't go by my words. Pre-drilled the holes. That way it goes together easier. I'm going to have three shelves in the bathroom cabinet. Construction is coming along. I'm getting there. Should pre deal these as well. Never quite makes it through on the first time. The uh, drill bit sort of plugs up, so I have to pull it back out. Looks like a ladder. It's funny. I've got this pre-marked so I just so you know what I'm doing here. I've got it marked off already where I want the holes or the, uh, the shelves. It's going to be an open top. There's no reason to put a top on it. At least not that I can think for now. side with a shower to stop splashing in the future. 
That is a given. Okay, well there's one half. Yeah, I'll make the other half and then I'll piece them together. Still putting the framing of the shelf together. I'm hoping that I can get it together in one piece inside there. Guess we're gonna find out. This drill bit works better by the way. The other one was dull, I found out, because the other one broke. And this other one zips through the wood like no problem. that in place of course while I'm recording I always make mistakes that's just the way it works right uh, make sure I don't make a mistake now I was gonna I was just about to I'll put that here Oh, it's warped. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to figure out why is this board shorter. The wood is warped. This is left over from way back when I got a uh, really good budget deal at Lowe's on some warped and gnarly wood. But it'll do the job here just fine. I'm gonna force it into shape. Alright, I want to turn off the camera and see if that'll fit in there before I finish this all up in one piece. Well, I've got the baseboard in and the top shelf in. As I said, the top, the up there is gonna be open for now. I might eventually put a lid on there just to keep splash or cover this section, more likely cover this section. Anyway, there's that, and then I've got the, uh, I'm gonna put a board in there for the faucet and drill through and put the faucet in. I'm just gonna make one more shelf, and then I found out this is a little bit crooked, so I've gotta lift that and reset it. And then uh, that'll be ready for a door. Looking pretty nice, actually, I'm liking it. Scraped out a whole mess of leaves here and pulled out the planters in front of the old RV. And what I did is planted some tomato plants because they will then grow and wind themselves up the porch, the front of the porch of the RV. Figured it's a perfect place for these guys. They'll get full sunlight all day long, uh, good soil, and a good place to climb, and they're easily, conveniently reachable for me. I have decided that I probably will not realistically get the RV out of here yet this year. I have more urgent projects like finishing the house and the porch and expanding the chicken range so this can be done next year. So I figured I might as well use the uh, the porch in multiple ways one of which is planting tomatoes. Well there's a the bathroom so far. Cat litter box is in its place. I still have to put a shelf down here and a door. Got the closet up here done I just have to put a door on there and some front trim all the way around there it is getting there getting there so I'll probably put a little lip across the bottom edge of this to keep anything from falling out onto the sink and uh, put a piece of pallet wood across each outer edge and across the top and then build a pallet wood door open and close on there it's looking good 
I'm getting there. Well, now it's official. Now it's the real deal. Look at that. Got all my vi vitamins and uh, uh, first aid kit, haircut kit, Q-tips, shaving kit, supplements, all in there. It's all in there. Now, now it's home. Now it's looking like home. Now it's official. I just got to get a door in there next. It's baby cat approved. What do you think, baby cat? <laughs> Look at her tail down below. <laughs> it's a new place to explore and it's a high spot and cats love high places, enclosed areas and something new. <laughs> She's loving it. I don't know how well this shows up, but I've got little ones at my feet. They um, have taken to me and uh, this morning first thing they did when they heard me moving in here just came running right to my feet it was so cute came running right up to my feet and started climbing my leg do you like to play at my feet nope oh, there's Felix Felix is a latecomer today sorry it's a little bit dark in here but um just wanted to show you it's pretty neat Felix is coming out Look at them, they hang right out of my feet. They like to play on my socks and attack me and climb my legs. It's funny. But they definitely like me. That's good. Yeah, you too, Squeaky. <laughs> She's nervous just because they're out all over the place. It's like, ah, oh, my babies are everywhere. <laughs> A writhing mass on my feet. Look at that. <laughs> I've become a kitten jungle gym. <laughs> Look at that one. Eating my foot. <laughs> it's funny. They're so cute. Sorry you can't get a wide view of what I'm doing here, but I'm putting a uh, pallet wood trim up on the new counter, or the new sh uh, cabinet. And then, oops, sorry, I kicked the camera. I'll explain in a minute what's going on next. Oh, bummer. Trimming this up a bit. Okay, there we go. Now, the camera off and give you a better view here. I know what I've got. See, I'm trimming it up along the sides. And then I'll put one along the bottom. Ooh, I don't have anything to nail to there. That's a bit of an issue. Ooh, not sure about the bottom. I wanted to put a piece on there too. I don't have anything to nail it on. I want to put one on the top. And I might have to put a uh, piece of 1x2 on the bottom to nail it to. I'll have to figure that out. Because I want to trim that off. Anyway, I'll come back to that. I want to put one up here. And I'm going to start building my door. I'm running out of daylight. And it's getting darker out there. Um, so I only have about 30 minutes left. But at least I'll get this trim piece on. And it'll look a little bit more finished tonight. A little bit. And then I, if I left it overnight from there, then that will be fine. You can tell I'm using uh, scrap OSB, but that will level out with time anyway. It's all free, all, everything free material, except for the 2x2s uh, the two are what I had gotten from Lowe's that time on a discount. That was a uh, really torn up cheap 2x2s two that I had gotten on a dirt cheap discount that time. Well, I cut that at top piece and... and uh, 
finish off the look of the cabinet for today and then I'll build a door next time build a door and put a mirror on there and I'm gonna have a pretty nice uh, medicine cabinet and closet There's a pretty cat out there with thorns. <laughs> I got the trim in there. I like it. I really like it. Actually, <laughs> it would look good just to put more here and here and leave it open. <laughs> You'll think it would look really good. Hmm. Got me thinking. This is just sitting here. I might glue it in actually. This piece. I might end up gluing that in. But I like the looks of that so much, I might put the other two pieces in. Hmm. Really like it. That's just wedged in. I, I, I cut it to fit precisely. I'm thinking about just uh, getting the glue and gluing those pieces on. There's no real force on them. I kneel these on because we're going to have the door hinge and the door latches on these. So that's important. But the others could be glued. Get out my liquid nails. Get to work. Boy, I'm really thinking I might put a piece on there. I really like the looks of that. I think I might just cut them and put them in here and see what it looks like, huh? That uh, fits right there, too. Well, not physically, but I mean, uh, this board is warped on the edge, so it doesn't fit the same. But, let's see if I can get it fit into one of these metal pieces. I'd like to see how it would look. It really finishes that off, doesn't it? I like it. I mean, I'd be the only one to see it, but it looks good. I think I'm going to cut two more. I really like it. I want to do it. I want to do it now. It's nice. Covers that. You know, it'd be just me, but hey. I like it. I'll have happiness. Well, back out to the saw. Well, that looks good. Look at that. And that's how I can leave it for the night. That is good. Look at that. And the same pallet wood will be done on the wall over here. So it'll be matching. And the same pallet wood will be used for the door. So that or, I'm not sure if I'll use, um, might use real pallet pallet wood. This is a different special type that I reserve for the kitchen. Let's see if I have enough. But I'm really liking the looks of that. 